Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from Money Mental UK here. Just gonna turn off that light because it's far too bright. That's better. Hey everyone, welcome to the latest episode of Cooking with Andrew. Hey ads for tonight's Cooking with Andrew. We've got the Big Daddy steak from Aldi. This is the ultimate in steaks. Will it prove to be a true test of my culinary ability? Who knows, but here it is, a fine piece of rump. So, we'll give it a minute or so anyway. I said to you all this, but I'm sure. Hey, Crispy. Phone's going off now. Car boot, Chris. Yeah. It would have been. Live now. Hang on. Right, hello subscribers. Hi Louise, good to have you with us. I hope your uh, day in the session. I'll call it KLC, I'll call it KFC. It's, it's more fun. But you know, I said it'd be nice. Um I hope okay. I'm gonna have to put this on silent. I hope your uh, session um went uh, session, whatever it is. Ads will agree with me this. Ads, you saw, if you saw Louise's story, it was like Davros in that, um, Davros, the character from Doctor Who. Uh, it's like Davros in that uh, beauty salon hairdressing place, but I hope it was good anyway. I hope it gave you what you need. I've got to go to the hairdressers um, so that I'm ready for the, for the uh, Wolverhampton meetup. Hey Chris, good to have you as mate. Aids with us. Uh, it is not Mary. This is the George Ross hairstyle. Look at this, you can't even move this anymore. Been in hair and makeup for half an hour. Absolutely isn't. Aid has renamed our hair is all done and car cost me. Oh, you had your service, didn't you? Yeah. Expensive things, those. Um, right, anyway. Hey Richard, good to have you with mate. We've actually got now more people in the chat than we have on my viewing figures, so I assume YouTube is yet again broken. Um, so for tonight's episode, how are you answering that? Well, because the phone was in my pocket, so I was texting and uh, doing it as well. I've got your latest reply, yeah. The latest sales update video is out, so go check that out later if you want. There's nothing great on it. Um, I had to time it. Aid has renamed the chat, the group chat that me and Aid are in, to call it Andrew's Gay Love Chat. So every time it pops up when I'm doing a screen record, I had to stop, edit out that bit, and go back in again. It took me ages to film it. So thanks for that, Aid. Well appreciated. Not. Um, you be giving me an unfair reputation. Right. Not eating yet. No, I'm about to eat for tonight. We have the B 16 ounce uh, rum steak, extra thick cut, 21 day matured. It's going to be awesome. Evening, big daddy steak here. What have you got yourself? You're carrying what? Is, oh, is that mine? Oh, that was next to you, Jeff. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 it's out of a lunch. I've had a delivery. Ah. Oh. Hang on. Right. Yes. So I've just had a delivery from it there's no onions. Onions are a crime against humanity. I've just had a delivery of my new eBay boxes. I order them by the ton. I like the eBay boxes. Anyway, back to it. Oh, so he has done his video on Terra Peak. I was going to do that. Hey, Kerry, am I on live chat? Yeah, I am on live chat. Um, right, so for tonight's meal, yeah, so we've got the Big Daddy steak, 16 ounce. We have got Aldi's specially selected crispy golden chunky oven chips, which actually, yeah, 20, 25 minutes a cup. We have got an egg, we've got 
tomato, mushrooms, all because uh, we wanted them um, uh, to satisfy Diana that we was eating vegetables the same way. Like, it's literally only me. And some cheese to whack on top of the chips. So this is going to be a humongous meal. Beat it before you cook it. Are we still talking about the steak or are we talking about something else, Gary Ann? Ba boom, so I did there. Yes, you can have steak without onions. Onions are a crime against humanity. Onions are banned from this channel, apart from when I had to eat one live because I lost the forfeit. The steak is yeah, sure. Given our earlier conversation, I thought you might be talking about something else. But I'm embarrassed now. Um, right, let's get the chips on first off. I need to find an oven tray. Uh, oven tray. Let's see if we can orient the camera so you can see what I'm doing this time. There you go. You might not be able to see all of the visuals, but you can see me. Hey, Nick. Yes. Half an hour in hair and makeup to do that. Um, right. Where is the oven tray? Here we go. I've got the oven tray out. Now, oh, I've just stepped on a bit of plate. Ow. I thought I'd got all that plate. For those who were with us earlier in the week for cooking of Andrew, I did indeed manage to drop and smash a plate live on YouTube that day. I will sit and open the chips. These are chunky oven chips. Whack those on. Make sure to spread the chips out evenly on the oven tray to ensure a good cooking surface. I haven't turned on the oven. Most unlike me to do that, I'm normally good at turning things on. But boom, uh, this gets lower and lower in level each episode. Um, there we go. We've got got a nice load of chips there, ready for cooking. What have we got here? Well, I'll, I'll read the chat in a minute. I better put the chips in. Uh, Let's see what temperature they're supposed to be on it because I forgot to put them on at the right temperature last time. What have we got? I've, I've ripped out the bit 220 degrees. So, right. There we go. Stay, stay in the freezer, stay. So, I say. A fantastic result in the football last night for uh, Liverpool. 4 3, can't believe it. Uh, right, what have we got? Releases the flavour when cooking. Beat it before you cook it. Steak. Kirsten is here. Hi, Kirsten. Uh, Kerry is eating Maltesers because you're worth it. I'm definitely worth it, Nick. And I, could, I, could, I'm, I am, as we know, the YouTube female. Uh, no, I am the female vote for the YouTube eye candy of the year because Steve Green seemed to win the male vote somehow. Um, I'm not dropping anything on the floor. DBG's here. Hi, hi, little big sis. How are you? Don't get, aren't you supposed to preheat the oven? Yeah, that is, I, I put it on just before the chips went in. That is as far as preheating goes in this house. Do not like raw chips. All right. Okay, so let's find out. Woo! I've sold another thing. Uh, whoa. I'll, I'll talk about that later. Um, why does the phone constantly... Oh, I've had a, I've had a sale. I've had a cha-ching. Yes. I've had a, a bit. Of, I've had two chichings this evening. One for two ninety nine and one for two pounds. Now this one is for nine ninety nine for something that I've left at mother's house. So that's awesome. Still, money's coming in. Free sales today. That's already better than yesterday. I sold today. I have sold a CD. Hang on. Oh. I wanted it, the sound on to get a chitting, but I'm just going to get abuse on the Facebook Messenger. Um, I sold a set of instructions for Shh, Don't Wake Dad for £2. 
I've sold an audio CD for two ninety nine that I picked up on Sunday. I didn't do it on Monday. I didn't do a car boot haul on Monday. But I did go to car boot. It was just I picked up basically audio books and model aircraft kits, and I just decided it wasn't really that exciting to talk about. Um, and then I, I've sold. Um, I've just sold a Kellogg's cornflake mug for nine ninety nine. That cost me about a quid. I sold my Harry Potter Lego spares yesterday and three lots of Lego and a book and a Neo mug. DBG has sold two dresses to another Irish reseller who sells on Facebook. Right, anyway, let's get back to the steak. Um, I'm buying the drinks on, on Saturday, then I assume Louise after that last message. I don't mind, I'll pay, it's fine. It should be nice, really, the amount of abuse I give. Um, but literally, uh, beets. I can't, I've got to open it yet. I've got to work out how to cook it. Um, stop it, Kelly Ann. Um, that's store it freezing. Right, how do you cook it? <sighs> Why can't I just put on it how to cook it? Directions for use add to a well oiled pan. And heat to a high setting sear for one minute on both sides lower heat to medium to high and continue to cook for the following times rare six straight minute all right let's get into the steak the scissors are out right to cook it implement as we know it's still you still can't get into it why can't they just have a thing you can pull off why does it have to be like vacuum pack? This is going to be another angry tweet to um, to uh, you sold those um, Jack's for wedding things though. I noticed I was doing a bit of stalking on on, on your solds, um, mostly to see if you'd sold anything in my size and not offered it to me first because I'm selfish like that. Um, so that looked like a really good sale. Yes, I've opened it, but I haven't put any oil in the pan to warm. Uh -oh. That's listening for me tomorrow after. Yeah, I did. Um, he'll be happy. I did a live listing stream earlier. What I have learned, right, is if you're going to do it, I've got water on the screen again. If you're going to do a live listing stream, don't do it uh, standing up. I stood up for an hour doing it and I was exhausted. I had to stop after five listings. But I have done my 10 today, DVG, to add to me 11 I did yesterday. So I am on fire. Uh, Oh, there's lots going on in the chat, but I've got to concentrate on, the, on this. Um, let me get the frying pan out. I've got, oh, there it is. I think this is a good frying pan. I've got one that's good and one that's bad. Uh, right. I haven't got butter, but I have got olive spread. So I'll put some of that in. Oh, I wanted to say number one, but number one came out. I forgot. Never mind. Knife. Light. If this light goes, I'm going to have no idea how to replace it. It's going to literally cook it in the dark. Could do dating in the dark. Oh, I could do, if I ever get a date again, I could do a live YouTube of my date. That would be, that'd be awesome. You could all give me advice over the... Um, the chat about all the times I've got it horribly wrong. Yes, live dating on YouTube. That's the next big thing. You heard it here first. All right, so the butter's in the pan now. It's not butter, it's marge, but it's the same stuff. Let's catch up on the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sue Andrews in. How are you, Stu? Hammer out. Uh, beat it. I will beat it. I will beat it. I'll get the hammer out. Um, well, I sold some Christmas figure stickers. Fair enough. All good. Just oh, I'll get a drink anyway. Uh, Jane sold two dresses on Facebook today within five minutes of listed in. That's good work. Um, drop it on the floor and stamp on it a bit first before cooking. Bill City sold three items two vintage Cunwood accessories and one sealed Hobbit books and two of the sales pending. Should he have those scissors out an adult around? I am I am an adult. Country puppy beef, that's that's fine. 
you know, listen, listen to that bubbling away there. That's the sound of true cooking. Right. Let's get the steak out. It's hammer time, people. Hammer in the steak. Come on. Yes. This is what we all come here for, watching the hammer in action. Fair time. There we go. Beating it up for you, Kerry Ann. Oh, I'm right at the bottom of the chat. Is that beating enough for you, Kerry Ann? There we go. Yes. Beaten. Right. Let's get it on. Yes, let's get it on tonight. There we go. The steak is nearly bigger than the frying pan. But it's on. I'm going to wash my hands because I've been touching uh, raw meat. Wash the hammer because that's been touching raw meat. There we go. I'll be back maybe in a second, chaps. I've just got, which one I'm useless. Right, I'm just going to be back with you in a minute, chaps. I've just got a chaps and chapesses. I've just got to um, do something like with this steak. Where's the spatula? Yes, we've got the spatula. There we go. Let that fry a little and I catch up with the chat. Adrian Chivers, hi Adrian. Nick spamming me. It's okay, we had the paramedics on standby always. It should be near the cooker. Send him some paper scissors. I used to have those left handed scissors in school, it was terrible with them. The Centre for Disease Control in America did a live listing stream. Was it not about it? It, just, it should have got a notification. I, I should have messaged you. I'm sorry, uh, DBG. Um, I didn't message anyone. It was just me and Deal City for the first five minutes. I'm not sure I should be allowed in the kitchen. All right, it's perfectly safe in the kitchen. My first, did my first or second job working in the kitchen. I still got a food hygiene certificate from those days. Uh, Lynn's was uh, Yeah, never taken notice. Yeah, and I saw your break date would not be free. Well, I'd have to date a fellow YouTuber, wouldn't I? And it'd be fine. I'm romantic. I was a lot distracting. It would probably relax me a bit more than that would, to be honest. Um, right. I get dead anxious, especially on dates. Usually in female company, I get dead anxious, to be honest, um, unless I'm really drunk. Um... Well, it depends on the company, actually, sometimes. Some people like a couple of steak with a pint of Coke and macaroni cheese on the side. Don't do Coke. Um, Drug-free channel on this channel. Uh, to do is the Galloping Gourmet. Uh, hi, Chris. Nick's on his own tonight. He's popping out for takeaway and beer. His cooking light is overrated. Get him to deliver to you, Nick. Delivery is the future. I had Uber Eats when I was in Manchester. I got a Mohammed, or I don't think his name was Mohammed. I probably just committed a racist offence. Um, whatever the name of the chat was, drove it drove me KFC to me. Fantastic, got me grog and bucket delivering. Not exactly beaten, tickled. I seems to hammer on it. This finger, but is 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 um, bell not about enter cook tea. Yes, you can come over and clean the whole house if you want. DVG needs cleaning. There we go. How long do tomatoes take to cook? I've got a tomato to fry as well. No, Richard, no, not a lot of people seem to get notification for it. Hello, Michael. The tap mountain's already fallen. Uh, bargain bell's working all right, fair enough. Um, oh, caught up. Right, back to the cooking. Should I put the tomato on to cook now? What do you reckon? Because I've got tomato and 
Mushrooms to cook. Uh, Corey sending me messages as well. Even though Corey is in a caravan tonight, because uh, he, he's decided he wants to go to a caravan tonight, rather than watching live, he's still with us in spirit, sending me abusive messages. Hi, Corey, when you watch this and catch up. Love you, dude. Right. Okay. Yeah, have we had an answer to the tomato question? To tomato question? No, it won't be created. It, it's a big steak. Has anyone has anyone ordered two cans of not bad? Yes, it's Marge basted steak. Right. I've got to put a tomato on anyway. You know, you're supposed to be advising me on the cooking here. And and you're not doing it. Two minutes max. So there we go. Thank you, Michael. Right, I'll bang it on now. Do -do -do. Steaks cooking away. Let's get the mushrooms out, get those on. Diane would be well happy. Anyone see South London reseller Diane? I think she's working tonight. Then, uh, hi, Rod. You okay, mate? Good morning to you. I thought this all about learning how to cook. Look, via professional, not being. If you want to learn how to look, I can teach you. I've got plenty for you to look at. Oh, he went there, didn't he? Did he go there? He did. Right. Um. Do -do. Mushrooms are in. Uh, let's catch up on the on the chat. Uh, do, do we do? You don't listen to us. Well, no, but it's amusing. I enjoyed your uh, your waffle. Um, rather, it was good. Sort of bearded Australian as well. Um, don't forget to tenderize the tomato. What's in the pan now, isn't it? I have a steak in the feast, and now I know how to cook it. There you go. You see, you're already learning. Captain Pugwash is here. I'm, I'm not having plastic plates. I'll be fine. Hey, we all know it was a Freudian slip, Louise. We know what it really meant. Um, and it won't cook. Um, no, no, definitely, this is how to cook a steak. And this is a big daddy. This is a 4 99 Audi 21-ounce steak. This is going to kill me. 20 people watching. Hey, 20 people watching. If I'm on your TV, I'm terrible because I forget to read stuff out. So you have to be honest. I am your greatest YouTube crush, as we know. Um, I need to check on the chips. So they're getting. Well, that doesn't work. I've got a switch in the oven for a light, but it turns out I must have killed the light. This is better than Master Chef. Yeah, I would I would go as Jews if I stay Richard. Don't try and cook it. Yeah, you definitely need a hammer. I'm not using a hammer on the tomato. We learned the lesson. We're not after using the hammer on the egg and literally getting egg on my face. I'm not doing that again. Steak is a solid, low-calorie form of protein. I'd start curling after eating that big steak. There you go. Um, uh, so Deal City has got two cans of Cokes, two wings, chips and chicken burger and garlic bread for six quid. That is amazing, especially given where you live, Deal City. Uh, which I think is London or near London. So in the south, basically. Um, yeah, it's not like horror, horror cooking, it's proper cooking. This, I have um, noticed every time I go live in a second, somebody gives me a dislike and then disappears. It's, it's amazing. But uh, yeah, cooking cooking with Andrew, um, I think there's genuinely people who have subscribed to me thinking I'm a cookery channel and then they watch it and they're like, OK, I need to go now because we subscribe and numbers have dipped uh, this week. Not Homer Simpson cooking, it's Andrew. 
yep this is free free content uh well it's not free for me i have to pay for the webcam the laptop i've had to pay for the internet connection so it's free for you to consume could use a blowtorch that's a fantastic idea adrian i why don't i buy a blowtorch it'd be ace live blowtorching i do like your jokes too mandry i just can't repeat all of them uh on on, on youtube because i'll i'll lose i'll get told off Stu's added me as a friend on Facebook, just saying. For the people who haven't, you know who you are. They do. All right. The mushroom and the, the, the tomato things are cooking. Tomatoes are a week out of date. They'll be all right, won't they? Let's check on the chips. I'm getting bored. Chips are nowhere near ready yet. Mm. You smashed an egg with a hammer now. You want to use a blowtorch? Yeah, blowtorch in a colony. I should be fine. Yeah, thank you, DVG. Yeah, probably not a flamethrower um, because literally I'd win a Darwin Award. I'd blow myself up. Do they still have Darwin Awards? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be headed for those one day. Um, but yeah. Is it wrong to have a meal deal for dinner? Yeah. Diet is important. We keep having this conversation. As you can see, I eat a very healthy diet. Last night, I had, I've still got the remnants of it in the dishwasher yet. I had one of those uh, bags of pasta, you know, like the cheese and pepper ones that you can get, that you just add water and milk to. That was last night's meal. I made, this is better than your usual haul videos. Yeah, more entertaining. Got to have beef tomatoes. I don't think Aldi do beef tomatoes. These are salad tomatoes. They're a week out of date as well. Right, I'm bored of watching me cook now. It's got to be ready now. We're going to whack in an egg. Um, I need a plate. Plates in the dishwasher. Whoa! This is like Mission Impossible. There we go. Always clean plates in my house. Yeah, we can't date. Uh, to do. I ain't setting no house on fire. See, DBG and Louise are going to become besties now. I can tell. This is it. They're going to bond over beef tomatoes. Well, it's better than the things I normally touch. To be honest, DBG. Yeah, no onions. Onions are a crime against humanity. They are banned from my house. Right, I'm going to put an egg on to cook. Can't have steak without your eggs. Learn that from the Americans. Bang up the heat a bit. I can't have fried onions in anything. Steak onions are not a couple. Right. Come on, I'm going to whack up the uh, temperature on the chips because they're not cooking quickly enough for my liking. I'm going to grab myself a little drink. Oh, you better kitchen, have you, crispy? Tonight's drink of choice. Let's see if you can guess in the chat what I'm going to have to drink. Yes. Although I had some of the American steak in it, I wasn't impressed, to be honest, when I was there. Too fatty. Too fatty. It needs to be less fatty. What are we guessing for the drink of choice? Cider? No. Meth? No. They're not just flash fry the chips for steak lunch. I don't know how to do that. Vegetarian. Garden onions. The crime in reality. Tonight's drink of choice. Banana milk. 
Yeah, I don't know how to do that, Kerry Ann, so it's not happening. <clears throat> now, the milk moustache again now. I'm having a shave for Saturday. Yes, the chips are starting to cook. What do you reckon, folks? Should I do some baked beans as well? No, the steak's out of the pan now. Definitely not toilet water. Yeah, banana milk taste. Vegetables are coming out now. Is egg a vegetable? I think egg's a vegetable. I'm going to count it as a vegetable. Egg is definitely one of your five a day. Just putting the steak back in just to finish it off. This is going to be an amazing meal. Oh, that milk's awesome. Uh, I've milked my banana before, Steve. But, um, I see uh, Steve Green give me a shout out earlier. Thanks, Steve. Finally managed to get the data to meet up right. I've managed to tell you 17 separate times. I'm say I always need something thinner after drinking it to wash it down like a lemonade. I never have that problem. I'm happy with the I'm happy with milkshake. Alcoholic milkshakes are the best as well. You get a boozy milkshake, gorgeous. Where the spoon should start. The steak and accompaniments are ready. I'm gonna get the chips out and then we'll be ready for the tasting. Right. Oh, fire, fire. Here we go. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, uh oh, burning, burning. Ah, oh, come on. The chips are slightly stuck to the non stick thing. I need, need to get some new oven trays. I think I've basically ruined these. The chips are as always undercooked because of my own impatience. But never mind, we're there now. Right, on you get. I'll tell you what, I am a true professional. Here we go. I've done that successfully without killing myself. Right, time for the condiments. Salt and vinegar, and guess what the sauce of choice is for tonight? Um, here's the salt. Just one more cornetto. Give it to me. Just one more cornetto. Give it to me. You can even get serenaded with beautiful music on this channel. Vinegar. Uh, vinegar on. A little more salt. 
Then we'll whack on some cheese as well to have cheesy chips tonight. What have we guessed at the sauce? It is indeed brown sauce. It is not onion sauce. Uh, I'm missing some chat here. Whiskey chocolates. Yeah, never tried those. Not really a chocolate man. I'm never going to set up a kitchen on fire. World's two estate. It's not. Me and Bell make it down to you at some point. I mean, take away. Hey, if you're paying, we'll have it. I was going to cook this all steak. I do need to set the spare room up soon. Um, right, yeah, the brown sauce is going on. This is the same spot that I balanced the last meal in and, and dropped it. So it could be a bit of jeopardy here. Right, let's get the steak knife out. Steak knife and a fork. Oh, there we go. Here we go, folks. Here's the big reveal. There is the meal. Look at that majesty. There you go. Finely cooked. Right, let's see if I can make it to my seat without unplugging the webcam. If I do unplug the webcam, I will be back momentarily with a new separate broadcast. Hmm. Oh, 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 made it. Just picking my way over piles of tat. Right. Learning from experience, I'm not putting you on my lap. I'm not going to put you to the side of me. There you go. Right. Here we are. Time for the big reveal. Let's cut a bit of steak off. Mm. It looks like it's cooked. Here we go. Medium rare. Just don't like it. Mmm. Mmm. Cooked into perfection. Right. Nobody panic. The steak will be done faster. And gravy, chip sauce, pepper sauce. Yep, definitely brown sauce. It's a big feed, yeah. I won't eat all of it. Some of it I'll save for tomorrow. The chips are moderately cooked. Uh, the puppy don't 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 get near my food. He knows he knows not to touch my food. All right. Let's get into this. So amongst yourselves, I'm going to be eating now before it gets cold. I'm going to say goodbye to Andrew. I made it successfully, despite the odds being against me. Hmm. It won't be a trilogy, but we will. That did actually happen last time, Stu, to be fair. But I'm sure that wasn't down to my cooking. That, that, but yeah, he did. Um, he did. He did eat some of my food, and then he had the trots for a day or two afterwards. So hopefully that has taught him a valuable lesson that he's better off with his own food. I ain't cooking but a steak. Expensive stuff, this. His dog food costs enough. Yep, half a cow. Not live food poisoning. 
Dale City's hungry. Well, you've got about you got a meal to feed the five thousand. This is bound to be a trilogy again. Bear me. Ah. Don't forget, folks, as well. Wolverhampton meet up this um, Saturday, two p.m. Weather spoons. Well, two p.m. onwards. I'll be there for two p.m. with my lovely co-host, um, who's on the chat at the minute. KLC reselling. Do give her a subscribe if you haven't already. She's catching me up on the subscriber numbers now, and I'll never hear the end of it when she overreach me. I literally won't. Um, yeah, pizza from scratch is on the menu. No. That meal is free on Slimming Wheel. Oh, yeah, send free this, definitely. Eat this, you'll be vomiting for days. Here we go. It's just like dining in a restaurant, this, isn't it? Barty's asleep. That's why I schedule it for this time. Uh, I will do a live with him at some point. Um, but uh, he's got to be in the right mood. Uh, I might do a live with him on Friday night, possibly. Puppy Q&A. Not mother's tomorrow night with him. I'll make it. I'll be there. Your steak is well cooked. It's epically it's well cooked. I leave good thanks to the cow that sacrificed itself so I could have a big daddy steak. Aldi had done a cunning trick as well. They took all the other steaks off the shelves, so I had no choice but to get a big daddy. Not that I would have chipped out on it. Big daddy is the future. This is a complicated meal. I don't do more complicated meal. I'm gonna try, I might do a fry up one day. 15 pounds for a kilo, don't pay that much. Hmm. Uh. Tell you what, it's lovely. If you ever want a medium rare Big Daddy steak cooked to perfection, you know where to come now, people. It's not chewy. I'm not going to learn how to cook onions. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the meter. It'd be nice. I, yeah, yeah. DBT, you should come across. Oh, imagine it. Two of the hottest resellers out there, DBG and KLC. Awesome. That'd be that'd be amazing. Wouldn't know who to talk to first. Um, anyway, I think we've just gone into my dreamscape. Nobody's going to cook. Nobody's going to cook me. Never try Sunday dinner wrap with Yorkshire pudding wrap. No, I haven't, Chris, but um, I have heard about it. I have heard about it. It's, it's on the list of experiences I'd like to try. Definitely. It's on my bucket list. You love what? You love what, Louise? Um, Richard's got a kaching. Well done, Richard. Oh, the Sunday dinner wrap. You love the Sunday dinner wraps. Well, maybe get one of those on Saturday then if they find someone that does one. 
Um, I don't miss the quiz. I'm still eating my steak. Might take a while. Six p into twenty-four quid. Well done, Richard. Well done, Richard's joining us as well on um, on a Saturday. I'm looking forward to seeing Richard. He did try and persuade Derek to come as well, but. I couldn't get a pass. I'm going to take away. Put on a movie. You don't need to put on a movie. Put me on the big screen. You don't need movies. You're watching real life here. This is better than any movie you can watch this is almost as good as star wars the empire strikes back watching a movie indeed disappointed there deal city i thought you'd stay in power hope you enjoy your takeaway mates on your movie oh i won't say what i've just done uh right Ideal city, very nice to people. Um, right, it's just me that gets the abuse. I'm surprised Aid has been quiet for this long. That was a terrible joke, Stu. Stu has just said that I am Han Solo and the steak is chewy. Steak's awesome. What did uh, everyone think of Avengers Endgame then? We're now allowed to discuss that, apparently. Did everyone enjoy it? Has anyone actually seen it? I've seen it. Just saw it on the day it came out, in fact. Dedicated like that. There will be a quiz soon, but I've got to eat this. It's a good film. I'll tell you all the plot, mind you, I'd lose some viewers then. I've already lost some viewers, we're down to 17. It's like people just want to see me cook the food and that's it. Stay for the chat. That's what it's all about. Although, obviously, I'm now talking to people who have left, so that's just stupid of me. You heard the. <laughs> not repeating that one either, Stu. Tell you what, though. I saw Captain Marvel. Wow, Brie Olsen. Yes, definitely. I'm definitely getting that one on DVD or, or possibly even Blu ray. Yeah, she was amazing. She is uh, buying for new celebrity crush. DBG is dipping in and out, apparently. We need you, DBG, to keep on top of these people. Especially during the quiz, because we know how, uh, how much you enjoy the quiz. Behave yourself. You might not even get a red card this time. Ah. Uh, 
Ajax 2, Spurs 2. I can't what the score was in the first game. Mm. Yes, it's what's line of duty. I'd predicted who H was. I hadn't predicted the four though. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, plays out again in the next series. For a long time, I got so confused, I thought I was H. But it turned out I don't star in the film. Slash TV series. And the Spurs is 3-2 down, I think. I'll tell you what, it'd be nice to see Liverpool and Spurs in the final. I'll actually go to the pub and watch that. I like watching an English team in the final. Can't be bothered if it's um, all Spanish or whatever again. Which obviously is not going to be this time now. The yeah, line of duty is that show, Nick. You keep preventing me from watching by overrunning with your quizzes. But now. It is finally finished for this season. <sighs> oh, the Mini Millionaire's got a new video apps. Don't watch that now. Watch me instead. Mm-hmm. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm still this steak. Oh. Adrian and Jane are off. Goodbye, both. Tell you what, I could eat a horse. A strong appetite, I throw my appetite. Mm. This is the iron that I'm intaking now, Richard, so I can keep up with you on the booze on them um, Saturday. There'll be no out drinking me after this amount of iron. What have your kids done, DBG? Liverpool have already won, Chris. They won last night. Still got a premiership to go for yet. I can't my sisters in Birmingham today. The St Andrews football ground sent me pictures of it. So that's a terrible city. Lincoln City in this household. Yeah, but to be fair, Chris, this is a big daddy steak. There's a lot of meat here. I mean, effectively, I'm eating two steaks. Anyway, I think we are approaching the end of the meal. And we're getting ready for quiz time. I need to be up and early for the boot. So Steve says he's not drinking. Uh, or claim to not be drinking, but as he's gradually getting closer, I think he's wavering. Right. Right. 
polished it all off. There you go. The pool will win the cup. Well, I have to see what me. Right. I remember Richard when we was in Birmingham. It's like, oh, I'm not going to drink much. Seven hours later, we were still there, nailing in the pints. Um, right, what am I doing? Quiz time. Let's do the quiz. Usual rules apply for the quiz. 5 a.m. I'm not going to it. No chance. I'm not doing a 5. I'm not doing a 5 a.m. start. I forget about that. I was thinking it'd be 7 o'clock or something. Good Lord. I'll turn up there at the end and pick up the drags. Another two years for the next line of juicy. I don't know if I can wait that long. Good night like waiting for the next series of Game of Thrones. Right, what's going? Okay, Michael, take care. Uh, right. Um, what am I doing? Quiz. You'll crack up if they go this far and then let it slip. Obviously not talking about me then, because I would never crack up. As we know, I'm mentally stable, sound mind, able-bodied, the perfect man. Um, right, quiz time. Use the rules of the quiz. Apply. Uh, quiz master's answer is final. There's no answering uh, quiz questions before the the uh, uh, quiz. No answering the question before I've asked it. Um, it's a yellow card offence, as I argue with the quiz master. Um, no answering twice, you can only answer once. If you answer more than once the question, yellow card offence. The two yellow cards, you get a red card, you get put into timeout. DVG and Louise will tell you, I pull no punches, I will show a red card, I will put people into timeout if necessary. Um, right. So let's find the quiz questions. Mm -hmm. Just fetch them along. I'm not closing any windows this time because I did that last time and I ended up closing the wrong one. We'll start off with a Disney quiz, shall we? Keep the ladies happy. Uh, Disney, here we go. Mm -hmm. Keep getting lag and hello, Adolf. They're not Adolf. If necessary, what, what's if necessary? Your hubs is not stable. Well, what's if necessary, Louise? Is anyone else getting lag? DPG, you got to hit the live button, that'll bring you back up to speed. Um, you know, if, if you are getting that, there's nothing I can do about it to be fair, so I don't even know why I'm asking. Okay, question one, dead easy one. Which Disney film is set in Scotland and has Billy Connolly as the voice of Fergus? So, which Disney film is set in Scotland and has Billy Connolly as the voice of Fergus? Yes, I will put people into timeout if necessary. If you don't behave yourselves, you will get put into timeout. I'm sure you're working on ways to plot your revenge on me anyway. Yes, I am brave. Thank you. Thank you for saying. Oh, so that was that was that the answer? Woo, do you see what I did there? Witty. Um, brave is the correct answer. Um, so it's not with Bam being afraid to. So congratulations uh, to everyone who gave the right answer there. Uh, on my screen, which is the only screen that matters. Louise was actually first with Brave just before Nick, just before Kirsty, and just before. So, Louise, you are the most mental person. You get the first mentalist point. Uh, I've got to start a new sheet here now, and I look at what you make me do now. I've got permission forms here. I have to fill out permission forms to end my blog. It's ridiculous. Been an emotional week for me this week. Um, I've ended the Money Mental website. Um, because I couldn't, it was taking too much time away from uh, reselling on YouTube, and I wasn't, you know, all conquering at it, unlike YouTube. So it had to go. 
but it has upset me. Um, so Louise, one point. Congratulations, Louise. George is here. Hello, George. Welcome. Do you like my uh, do you like my take on your hairstyle, George? As you can see, I've applied the hair gel yet again, and it looks brilliant. I am like a doppelganger for George Ross now. Uh, George suggested exotic dancing should be a future subject for my YouTube channel. Um, I've refused to do that, obviously. Uh, so, other Louise, you get the point there. Next is the question. Here we go. You might get some points on this quiz, uh, George. Um, the questions are easier than they are, Nick's. Which two film of 2000 stars Denzel Washington as a newly appointed football coach? So which film of 2000 stars Denzel Washington as a newly appointed football coach? Yes. Like Sonic. Gonna have to do a video again for me to show today properly, George, because I ain't getting it. Nobody knows what Denzel Washington was in. This is like a dead easy question as well. You can't all be googling it. Well, George, well done. You've just beaten Louise. It is indeed. Remember the Titans. So fake George Ross, one mentalist point. Congratulations to Fake George Ross. Uh, the film Tangled is a retelling of which German fairy tale? That was slow googling. Ah, oh, well, you see, if you will eat when you're, you know, you're trying to watch a do a quiz. The film Tangled is a retelling of which German fairy tale? Correct spelling and pronunciation and, and uh, capitalization as well, please. So we've had some answers coming in. Uh, Richard, it's not Rapunzel, I'm afraid. It's not Hansel and Gretel Rod, but uh, well done for trying. It is Rapunzel. Let's check the spelling on this now. It's not the Godfather, no. I am Godfather. Now, Louise is up there just before Nick with Rapunzel. And uh, there's literally nothing I can do to remove the point from it. So she has got two points there. Well done, Louise. Louise is KLC reselling, by the way, if people don't know, I should say that. We'll come off Disney now. We'll go on to a new category. I do take points off people if they won't admit that Shrek is a troll. George. DBG has had a red card on this quiz before, mate. So you've got nothing to worry about. She, 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 uh, yeah, she was uh, very angry with me. Have we got one on? We'll go art next. That'll throw the uh, cat amongst the pigeons. Actually, Stu might be good on this. Let's go art quiz. Do, 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 do art quiz. Born in Malaga in 1881, this artist famously had a blue period. What was his name? Ah, you love it, really, DBG. So, born in Malaga in 1881, this artist famously had a blue period. And full name, please, as well. Full name. Not Vincent van Gogh, no. Full name. Still full name needed. Now you're all panicking. What was his full name? Uh, not Donatello. No, he was um, uh, not the man. Well done, Richard. It is indeed Pablo Picasso. Well done, Richard, for complying with the rules of the quiz. You're off with one point. Now everyone's complaining that just put Picasso, but you know the rules of this quiz. Yeah, George got it, but uh, just a bit too late. So Kirsty and Stu have missed out there. Oh, has Richard spelt it wrong? We'll have a look at that. We'll have a look at that. It could be a steward's inquiry here. 
You're right, George. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm sorry, Richard. I've got to take the point from you. Uh, it has been pointed out that it is, in fact, not two C's. Um, well, it's not Cornelius either. Um, so, yeah, George, you've got the point. Well done, George. You've actually managed to take your point from someone else for once. The wheel is turning. Sorry, Richard, you're, you're off the scoreboard, I'm afraid, mate. <laughs> Do you know any artists then, Louise, or have you just said the only one you know? Because remember, Repetition got you a... Uh, <laughs> DBG, stop, the, stop deleting his messages. Um, right, honestly, the only flirting loud is flirting with me. Um, Remman Van, well, not doing that question, just can't say his name. Here we go. This English artist of the late 18th and 19th century is best. I oh, can't ask too long a question, we'll just go for the next one. Dutch artist who painted Cafe Terrace at night. Dutch artist who painted Cafe Terrace at night. Got a chance for this one. Yeah, don't be trolling in my chat. There you are. Well, that's what happens. You, you know, you, you step away from this channel and anything can happen, Chris, as you know. Right now, he's... He's 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 uh, is a Dutch artist, so he, he can't possibly be a Spanish geezer. Full name, Richard. Yes, well done, Nick. Well done, Nick. He's given the uh, correct answer. Nick is off the board with one point. He's complied with the rules of the quiz. Well done. It's not Banksy, I'm afraid. No. Um... Here we go. The French artist who devised the Pontilliism scale of painting. And whose first major work was Brothers at? I can't. We're not doing that one. I can't. I can't pronounce that. Salvador Dali provided the inspirations for the dream sequence in which Hitchcock film? So, which Hitchcock film did Salvador Dali provide the inspirations for the dream sequence? George's no, not Ralph Harris. No, Rod. Did you answer twice there, Rod? Are we on a yellow card? I'm going to have to look there. Let's have a look. Rod, you answered twice. You're on a yellow card. You did. You said that Spanish geezer. And then you come back with Rolf Harris. That's a yellow card, Rod. I'm afraid. Uh, yes, well done, Richard. Spellband is the answer. Well done, Richard. Gets one point. It's more fun giving people cards than letting people win the quiz. My dream is to have a quiz where everyone has got a red card so nobody can win it. Okay. One more question on art and then we'll move to a different category. Born in Yorkshire, England, this artist is known for his paintings of Californian swimming pools. A bigger splash, preen, perhaps the best example. So full name of the artist. Artist born in York. England, best known for painting Californian swimming pools with a bigger splash being the best example. DBG, you can't revoke yellow cards. Uh, yes, we have had two correct answers. Vicky's missed out the capitalization, unfortunately, but Nick hasn't. Uh, is David Hock first, anyway, to be fair, so we didn't have to employ the check as a troll rule there. Uh, Nick now moves up to two points. Well done, Nick. You're tying in the lead with Louise and George Ross. Uh, this isn't my start. But I need to start selling it, George, you see. I've sold some art paintings for good money before. Uh, really good money, actually. But the slow sellers. Right, so move off art. Hmm. Let's go for 2000s music. So music from our current century. Well, nope, not sticking with that. 
wrote an essay on Huxley, did you? There we go. That's Ken Chapman. Um, in which year did Travis release their second studio album, The Man Who? So in which year did Travis release their second studio album, The Man Who? Well, we've had a guess. We've had a couple of guesses there. And uh, I've got to tell you, I've got three guesses there, and they're all wrong. It's not 2001. Get, it's not 2008. Get Googling, people. Nope, not 2005, not 2007, not 1999. This is music from this century, really. So, yeah, no. Again, like I literally have said, the DVG could still get this. I have literally said that this is music from this century. So it could not possibly be. Yes, well done, DVG. DVG is off the, off the mark with a point. Stop me ranting as well. Well done, DVG. One point, it was indeed 2000. So, yeah, some close answers and then some cheap. Yeah, you Googled it wrong. It's 2000. Yeah, uh, good guess. Which Christina uh, Aguilera song begins? Hey, boy, don't you know I got something going on? I got an invitation. Don't you keep me waiting all night long? I even sung that for you. Which Christina Aguilera song begins? Hey, boy, don't you know I got something going on? I got an invitation. Don't you keep me waiting all night long? Yeah, Google's wrong. I don't care if Google says 1999. DBG. Don't, don't forget that arguing with the quiz master is a yellow card offence. So if it doesn't stop now, yellow cards will be issued. Right. Nick reckons Jean in a bottle, which is wrong. We've... Ooh. <laughs> Why do you hate the game? You got a question right. Thank you, Louise. I will do. Thanks for that offer. I do. Never been called baby before. Oh, is that the answer to the question? Um, it is. Come on over, baby. Yeah. Uh, Louise gets the point and takes the lead. I'm, I'm not blushing. Behave. I don't even know how to do that. So, other Louise, you're on three points. These were these are easy questions, uh, Captain Pugwash. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Which Leanne Rhymes single features prominently in the Coyote Ugly? Great film. Which Leanne Rhymes single features prominently in the film Coyote Ugly? Well, definitely, I've been called a few things, yeah. Why couldn't they <laughs> in a single one of the songs? No, it's not How Do I Live, and you can't answer again. Not How Do I Live, and you can't answer again either, Nick. Quite an ugly, great film. This song was very prominent in it by Leanne Rhymes. I don't know who Leanne Rhymes is. Oh, we've got the right answer. I don't, I don't even know who he is, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, it is. It's Can't Find the Moonlight. And, Kirstine, you just beat Richard there. She's me, but rhyming. Oh, yeah, How Can You Love It Too? You just said you only know one song. Now it's like I know them all. Um, who got that point? Who got the point again? Kirstine got the point. Well done, Kirstine. You're off the board with one point. I don't think she did do a song called Bottom, though, uh, unfortunately, Stu Manji. Uh, which American female vocalist had a 2000 hit with I'm Out of Love? So which American female focus... Uh, I panicked. Which American female vocalist had a 2000 hit with I'm Out of Love? Everyone else was Googling it. Uh, you're right, Nick. It is Anastasia. Let's check who got the correct spell in there. We haven't. Uh, Louise is out. Nick is out. They've both given the wrong spelling. 
Richard is out. He's giving the wrong spelling. Crispy is... I don't even know what that is. Still waiting for the metal quiz. I don't, I don't do one. So if anybody actually gives the correct spelling of Anastasia, they will win this point. No, Sumanji, that again is the wrong spelling. <laughs> the rules are simple. Uh, has Kirsten given the right spelling? Let's have a look. A-N-A-S. Yes. See, uh, yes, well done, Kirsty. You have given the correct spelling. Kirsty moves up to two points. Let's see, it's too quick off the draw. You've got to be careful on this quiz. It's not as easy to win as you might think. Well done, Kirsty. You successfully cheated your way through. So I'll we'll move off the music. Um, I think we're halfway through the quiz now, and the score scores are so far. In the lead with a massive three points is Louise from KLC Reselling. In second point place, we have George Ross from Retro Reselling, Nick from Nick and Andrea Hills, both on two, and Kirsteen from Kirsteen, oh, all of two points. And then uh, bringing up the rear, we have Richard Payne with one point and DBG with one point. So it's still anyone's to play for at the minute. The, the net random the the answer is uh, it, uh i don't know uh i don't know i haven't got a chance to do any of it in a minute but brandon i have done a vlog which you may want to watch where i have done some charity shop pickups so uh, i think i'll publish that one on um monday maybe i know nick's watched it because he, he commented on my wonderful use of technical terms so they, there's some pickups in there it might be worth watching mate if, if that's what you want to say um let's do a friends quiz let's keep dbg happy oh, i've seen it already all right no worries mate um to do recurring characters from the friends series i think what are the first names of ross and monica's parents so first names only are Ross and Monica's parents. I'm assuming the surname's Chandler. Yeah, I know nothing about friends, but it keeps DVG happy. We like to keep her sweet. She's, she's violent. Devil worshipper. She's got a VD doll of me sat on her side of her bed. So we've had an answer. Kirsten says Jack and Judy. And Kirsten is right. I thought DBG you would get that one. Kirsten, you moved to joint lead with three points. Well done, Kirsten. What was the name of Ross's pet monkey? So what was the name of Ross's pet monkey? I don't think I've ever seen an episode to completion. What was the name of Ross's pet monkey? I, I don't know what an easy... It's not Andrew, no. I don't know. We've had that. What's happened to DPG? She's normally on fire on the Friends round. It is Marcel. Uh, Nick's actually spelt it correctly, and I kissed him. So Nick gets the point. Uh, so Nick, you move into joint lead with uh, Louise and Kirsteen. Three points. Maggie Wheeler played which long-term recurring character? So Maggie Wheeler played which long-term recurring character? I'll put a dot in here so I don't get confused. There we go. Uh, and I'm happy to just take the first name because that's all I've got in front of me. Kirstine, you've just beat Nick there. It is indeed Janice. And I'm glad it's not Cinderella, no. Uh, so, Kirsty, and you're moving to the lead on four points. Well, we gave DBG a home category and she didn't even answer. Disappointing. Yeah. 
Let's um, see what else we've got here. Do, do, do. We won't do ballet because there's not a chance that I'll be able to pronounce any of the names. Ooh, home country, Wales. Here we go. Quiz on Wales. Yeah, I think DVG's gone. But all reminder that we did that we did do a friend's quiz for her. Which two colours feature on the flag of Saint David? So which two colours feature on the flag of Saint David? Yes, this quiz is all about me. I mean, there's not that many colours in the world, is there? I mean, there's lots of shades, but there's only a few colours. Like seven on the rainbow. Uh, no, it's not the Welsh flag. It's the flag of Saint David. No, no. Again, it's not the Welsh flag, so no, it's not going to be red. I'm telling you now, red definitely isn't on the flag of Saint David. Kirsten, you're smashing it. It is indeed yellow and black. I think we've lost Louise as well because she's normally quicker on the Google. Well done there, Kirsten. Five points lead. In which Welsh county is it believed St. David was born? So which Welsh county was it believed St. David was born from? Correct capitalisation and spelling, please. I'm actually the dislikes I get. I've had a quiz part on this. Everyone's giggling. So we've had an answer. Looks like Richard Payne has come with Pembrokeshire. Stu Mandry's come with. You had you, why would you have me muted? Uh, Diffid, you have to click the live button at the bottom to um, go back, and I'll just take you back to the um, live point. Jay Carr taught me that. Uh, yeah, it is. It is edited. Is a quiz going on? You cannot be multitasking. Important quiz that you were in the lead for and now are not. Um, well done, Pembrokeshire. Uh, Richard, sorry. Well done, Richard. It is indeed Pembrokeshire. So Richard moves up to two points. Well done, mate. De foi for Richard. I can do for it. Yeah, you, 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 Nick, you've answered five minutes behind everyone else, mate. What is the common name for the Welsh stew eaten on St. David's Day made from lamb and leeks? So what is the common name for the Welsh stew eaten on St. David's Day made from lamb and leeks? You missed the Friends quiz, TPG. You could have been in, in the lead, mate. How did, hello, yeah. Yeah, I can't multitask you, Crispy. Um, yeah, it is cool, very impressive. Uh, Kirsteen just beat Gillian on my screen there. Um, but but oh, oh, Kirsteen capitalization wasn't there, mate. So, Kirsteen, you can have the point only if you prefer to admit that Shrek is a troll. So, if you go on the chat now and say Shrek is a troll, you can have the point. I'm further builds your lead. Otherwise, it goes to Gillian. Is Kirsten going to type Shrek as a troll? The tension's building. You've got to type something regardless. Yes, well done. There we go. Another one believes Shrek is a troll. You having that, Kerry Ann? Shrek is a troll. Well done, Kirsten. Six points. Yes. Okay, we'll come off the uh, Welsh questions. Kirsten is killing this at the minute. We got no of you, Kirsten. Is he actually the one answering, or are you doing this all on your own? Maybe you're better without Noah. Controversial. Oh, politics. Always a brilliant subject. Uh, let's have a look. We'll go for a Donald Trump quiz. On the subject of politics. Uh, 
that's not a threat. We go with the quiz master's answer. Uh, so Donald Trump became the oldest first term US president at 70 years old. But who was the previous oldest first term president? So before Donald Trump was the oldest first. Noah's doing the hard lifting. Good lad, Noah. So yeah, who's doing the um who was the um previous oldest first term US president before Donald Trump was? Well, we've got an answer here. Is Stu Mandry off the mark? He is. Well done, Stu. Stu just beat Kirsty in there. Um it wasn't George W. Bush, I'm afraid, and it, it wasn't Lincoln. Although you would have had to have said Abraham Lincoln there anyway to get a point. But um yeah, well done, Stu. Stu's off the mark. His first mentalist point of the day. Well done. Yeah, I often say the same. Which WWE wrestler did Donald Trump select as his partner for the Battle of the Billionaires match versus Vince McMahon? So which WWE wrestler did Donald select as his partner for his Battle of the Billionaires match? Full name, correct capitalization. Fastest Google first, I reckon. Steve Green was here, probably get it. Not Hulk Hogan, no. Not Pee Wee Herman, Chris, I'm afraid, no. Not Stone Cold Steve Austin, I'm afraid, no. You can Google it, DPG. Ah, sorry. Not Big Daddy, no. It's going to be the fastest Google here first. I reckon Kirsten will get the fastest Google in. Let's see if I'm right. The tension is building. We'll go for the 10 second countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ah, nobody got it. The correct answer was uh, Bobby Lashley. So, yeah, missed out there, guys. Uh, this is an easy one. I know the answer to this. In which New York neighborhood was Donald Trump born? Not Brooklyn, no. We really need to move the laptop. Oh, oh, we've had a correct answer. Uh, it wasn't Manhattan, it was Queens, and Louise just beat Nick to that as well. So, well done, Louise. You move up to second place with four points. Okay, we'll come off the Trumpster, we'll go UK Prime Ministers. A role that I'm sure I will one day occupy. Who is the only Prime Minister to have served under three monarchs? So the only Prime Minister who served under three monarchs. I can see who's texting me now. Ooh, loads. Ooh, cha-ching. Oh. Well, technically it's not because Ireland was part of the UK at this time. Um, so definitely not. And it was Stanley Baldwin, uh, which I think Richard got there well before anyone else. Uh, he did. Yeah, well done, Richard. You get a point there. So, yeah, three points. So, yeah, congratulations. Uh, this is a dead easy one. Uh, known as the Grand Old Man, 
which man served as prime minister on four separate occasions between 1868 and 1894. Full name, correct spelling. Known as the grand old man, which man served as prime minister on four separate occasions between 1868 and 1894. And indeed, uh, Ireland was part of the UK at the time. Oh, you got a sale, have you? Well done, Captain Pugwash. I would have actually just accepted William Gladstone, but um, Louise was quickest there with Ewart. No, not, not Winston Churchill, uh, I'm afraid. Uh, definitely not Rod Hull. Uh, didn't he have Emu? Pretty sure I sold the Rod Hull Emu game for about 30 quid or 40 quid. Um, it was William Ewart Gladstone, and I would have just taken William Gladstone on that occasion. But Louise is up to five points. She's catching up, Kirsty. Where's this stormy performance come from? Louise is normally terrible. We'll have to move to um, films and movies next, I think. Um, so I can properly get some hatred. Film, yes, next category. Rod Hull died fourth for Rolf, did he? Nice. Off a reef. Nice. I mean, not nice, obviously. It's bad. Oh, what are Spurs doing? Who's watching the football? He's got the scores up. Somebody's just said something. Spurs have done something. Um, oh, Christmas films. Let's do Christmas films. I'm a romantic at heart, really. What are Spurs doing? I'm going to have to put this, the football on. BBC Sport Football. We will resume Christmas, Chris, Christmas questions. Spurs have scored an injury time winner. The last 90 minutes plus six. They're winning away goals. It's an all-English final in the Champions League. Excellent. I'll be in the pub for that then. Three, three and away goals. Awesome. Another match that I've missed. Um, which 1993 Christmas film follows the misadventures of Jack Skellington, Halloween Town's Pumpkin King? So which 1993 Christmas film follows the misadventures of Jack Skellington, Halloween Town's Pumpkin King? Oh! <gasps> Yes, it is indeed the nightmare before Christmas. And on my screen, Louise was first to get there, so she's tied now in the lead with Kirstein. I thought you might like the Christmas quiz, Christmas films category. Um, so, yeah, all correct answers there, but Louise was quickest. Richard was too busy telling me the scope. The, um, the, um, oh, this is my famous, uh, this is my favourite film, or one of my favourite films of all time. Um, it's not Star Wars, by the way. It's not science fiction. Rich Christmas film begins with David, playing by Hugh Grant, commenting that whenever he feels gloomy about the world, he thinks about the arrivals terminal at Heathrow Airport. So which Christmas film begins with David, played by uh, Hugh Grant? You were born then. It is indeed, love, actually. And uh, Louise... Is that 93? Yeah, you probably were. Um, God, that fact's making me feel old. Um, Louise was uh, first on my screen with Love Actually, one of my favourite films of all time. But you didn't know that about me, did you? Deep individual I am. I relate to Andrew Lincoln's character in it. He is, I, I've ever since I've seen that, I am Andrew Lincoln. I'm going to be a complete guess. There's an eighth film, that. Um, yep, so taking it. It's a, I actually own it on DVD. I know I own a lot of DVDs. Those are books. They're not DVDs. They're over there. Um, I'm not a big girl's blouse. You like it too, I reckon. Um, so, yeah, Louise moves into the lead on seven points. 90, 93, I would have been seven. Nine. Nine. I would have been nine. Let's do maths then. What is the name of the elf played by Will Ferrell 
in the 2003, God, is it that old film, Elf? What is the name of the elf played by Will Farrell in Elf? Ooh, Kirstine just beat Louise. It was, buddy. Kirstine is now tying with Louise on the lead there. Close, this is close. Gonna start arguing. <laughs> Gonna start arguing with me and saying you were first because Kirsty was on my screen. It's not going for the yellow card this time, wasn't Elijah Presley? No. Talking of fallings from roofs. Uh, falling from roofs. Sorry. Who plays Scott Calvin, the man who causes Santa Claus to fall from his roof, in the 1994 Christmas movie The Santa Claus? So basically, who was the star of The Santa Claus? And we've got an answer. It was indeed Tim Allen. Well done, Vicky. Vicky gets the first mentalist point. There you go. Vicky's up with one point. Uh, I don't know his name. He's not the correct answer. It was Tim Allen. Vicky just beat Nick, just beat Richard, just beat Crispy. Tim Taylor. Never mind. This is a good film. Which 1983 film directed by John Landis sees the path of Dan Aykroyd, great actor, and Eddie Murphy cross when they become part of an elaborate bet? So 1983 film directed by John Landis sees the path of Dan Aykroyd and Eddie Murphy cross when they become part of an elaborate bet. Yeah, he was a tall man. Ooh, Kirstein is in the lead now on eight points with trading places. Well done, Kirstein. Should we change category? Yeah, a few correct answers coming in, but sadly too late. We'll change category. Do a couple more questions before I get uh, I catch up with my messages because, um, as always, there are a lot. Wow, oh, actually quite popular, to be fair. It um, amazes me. What should we do? Is Rod still there? Is Rod still there with the Australian? Switching to my phone, laptop lagging. That's the wrong sort of films. Yeah, they're not doing well, are you, Stu, man? Are you really slipping? Rod, you're still there, mate, or have you, have, you, have you gone? Okay, I think Rod's gone, so he won't do Australian. Um, let's do France, because Louise has just gone to France. And not blown up any tyres while she was there, which is a miracle. <gasps> there isn't a French quiz. We can't do France. Sorry. Oh, soaps. I know nothing about soaps, so this should be interesting. It's all Coronation Street. So here we go. Coronation Street quiz questions. There's literally two questions there, so we're not doing that. Let's try this Coronation Street one. Here we go. Who killed Kylie Platt? So full name, correct capitalization. Who killed Kylie Platt in Coronation Street? Yes, this will sort the men from the boys. It wasn't Barry Manlow, I'm afraid, now. Could be the fastest Google first here. Who killed Kylie Platt? Oh, and it has been the fastest Google first. Did, was it painful having to type it correctly and put the correct capitalization in? Louise has got it. Louise moves into joint lead on eight points. It was indeed Clayton Hibbs. Wasn't Fanos, no, I'm afraid. Or Buck Rogers. Buck Rogers actually came up in the Money Mentalist support group today, though. Uh, Nick, you've got a yellow card for answering three times now. Yellow card, Nick. I know you don't watch Curry. I'm not an idiot. I wouldn't talk to you if you watch Curry. Um, I know the answer to this one, though. In July 2016, who did Leanne tell that he was the father of her unborn child? So in July 2016, who did Leanne tell that he was the father of her unborn child? Fastest Google first. Not Thanos. 
The answer will probably never be Thanos. Not Jeff Goldblum. Don't forget the yellow card either. We can't answer again. Have you answered again? Right. We are putting the leader of the tap chat into timeout because he's on a red card. There we go. We've now put the leader of the tap ta chat into timeout. Oh, I'm going to get slated on his live quiz on Sunday. Not Chris Hemsworth, no. Uh, yes, Chris B, it was Steve McDonald. Um, so Chris B gets his first mentalist point. Nick is now disqualified from the quiz. He's probably very angry. Okay, final Coronation Street question. How did Eileen Grimshaw find out about her son Todd's relationship with Billy? Oh, he's spamming me now. Hang on. I'll put the phone on silence. There we go. It's not my fault, Nick, that you, you, you got a red card. I warned you, he's on a yellow card. Always lives, living dangerously, me. Um. How did Eileen Grimshaw find out about her son Todd's relationship with Billy? Uh, I'm the hero here. Uh, um, no, not someone told her. Not Facebook. We'll give you a clue. She old. She. That's Nick. She overheard it on uh, something. So what did she overhear it on? Bear in mind, Louise, Stu and Chris cannot now answer the question. Well done, Kirstine. You move back into... Ooh, in fact, you take the lead from Louise. Nine points. Okay. Let's um, come off Coronation Street. Let's move on to a new category. I could do a daddy. I could, I could do who is the sexiest male YouTuber of all and then make everyone say me. But I won't do that. I did that the other week. Um, uh, let's go for news. April 2019 news. I'm still wise, I can't see that. Okay, so in April 2019, Hamilton um, won the Chinese Grand Prix for Mercedes, but who came second in the April 2019 Chinese Grand Prix? Second place, uh, correct spelling, correct capitalization, full name. Not Noddy. Uh, not Sebastian Vettel. It was indeed Valeteri Bottas. Uh, so Louise moves to joint lead on nine points. I thought that'd be a good Google. Oh, did you spell it wrong? Nick's board now. It is a double T. I'll give you that though, because you pointed that out before. Uh, before. Um, uh, before I'd even spotted it. Okay, next question. Alexandria, I can't say that, I'm not doing that. Which northern city has just voted a branch of Nando's as its best restaurant? Rod is asking if he's got any points. Which northern city has just voted a branch of Nando's as its best restaurant?
You knew that one, did you? I had to take you so long to answer then. Oh, well done, Richard. It was indeed Preston. Two kachings. Nice one, DBG. Richard moves up to four points. We've still got Louise and Kirstine on nine points. So we'll have a tie break. <sighs> tie break between Louise and Kirstine for winner of the quiz. <clears throat> Let's uh, let's think. What should we? What should we? What should we? Um, what should we ask? I think we'll go for a question about me. Um, oh, the phone's going mad. Nick has sent me twenty six messages. Twenty six messages, Nick. Um, tie break question. What should we have? What is my favourite film of all time? I mentioned it earlier on this quiz, so. Not didn't ask a question about it. I did say earlier on this live what my favorite film of all time is. So yeah, what is my favorite film of all time? Tie break question between Louise and Kirsten. Only Louise and Kirsten can answer. Uh no, no. So yeah, oh no, <laughs> Debbie does Dallas. Uh, it's it, it's actually Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. So um not quite right, I'm afraid there, uh, Louise. Close, but no cigar. Okay. What is my favourite TV series of all time? This is just how much people stalk me, basically, for a tiebreaker. What is my favourite TV series of all time? <laughs> Play School. No, it's not Play School, Rod. Not Star Trek, no. Good shout, but it's not Star Trek. Not Debbie Does Dallas, no. Not Corey, no. You, you could have got it then. It was obviously Doctor Who. You so see, you went for the flipping answer, and you haven't got the points. No, we won't ask that. With the tie break a few weeks ago was controversial. We won't ask that one. Um... Um, what should we ask? How tall am I in inches? Not loose women. Let's see if we can get some good guesses for height. DBG, you are not allowed to answer this. Oh, and Louise has won the quiz. <laughs> Seven foot eighteen is not the correct answer. 205 centimetres isn't in inches. I am, in fact, because it's a tie-break question between Louise and Kirsty, and that's why you can't answer it. Uh, Louise is correct. I am six foot four. I know everyone adds an inch. Um, so actually six foot three. But we'll give you that. Well done, Louise. You have won the quiz for the first time ever. This is the greatest moment of your life, I'm sure. I, if you want to dedicate this award to somebody, you can. Oh, don't worry about it, DBG. It's all these ka coming in. I said inches. I mean, how more specific can I be? Uh, so, well done, Louise. You have won the um, prize of being my greatest stalker. And you have won the Monumental Quiz. You get uh, a 25% off in on any item in the Monumental UK store. Brilliant prize feel free to use it on my highest priced item so I can make massive profit. So yeah, well done. Thank you all for watching. That's been a nearly two hour live stream because I literally didn't have any orders to ship um, until just before this quiz. So thanks all for watching. Um, I might be live on Friday. Why might I be live on Friday? What was I going to do on Friday? Oh yeah, puppy talks. I might be live with the puppy on Friday. Uh, possibly. You shall see. Depends what mood I'm in and what else is going on. Thanks, everyone. Speak to you all soon. <laughs> so, as you're getting yet, you stayed here for all of it. I appreciate your support and your patronage. Right. End stream. End.